Look at what has happened this week. We're running into problems with a new chicane built halfway down the back straight, originally designed to reduce the speeds which are reaching ridiculous proportions through the high speed bankings of turns three and four. Something to take away accidents and yet it's done just the opposite. We've had far more incidents and what we suffer is potentially an accident today that could actually block the entire track and put a stoppage to the race temporarily. They were trying to slow the cars down some. They'll still reach an excess of 175 miles per hour coming off the banking. The word is that he missed that, what the uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway calls a wobble. The chicane in the back straightaway. Let's see if we have a bobble in the wobble here on the, on the leader. Indeed, he went straight through and, and he continues to be shown as the leader with 14 laps complete. Amazing, we may have a whole new type of endurance racing here. There he is and he got in there hot and there wasn't going to make it. So he goes up the outside and continues through. Now we've also just received word that number five missed that chicane. The International Motorsports Association has a problem. Well, exactly, Ken. You make a good point here. They've set a precedent because the rule said miss the chicane, lose a lap. They watched Holbert and they turned it into a judgment call and not a clear rule. They said, no, he lost enough time that we're not going to assess him the penalty. So now you've got the lead car making the same mistake. Question, will they penalize him a lap? Question, will they not penalize anybody? Question, why go through the chicane if they're not going to penalize you for it? Watch here in replay just moments ago at that chicane, which is causing these problems out oh, here. Oh, boy. No, no, there is a real show of talent. Well, at this point, they're just, they're entering, yes, exactly. The rear brakes are locking up. They're spinning around, heading tail first. Now, that may be a good sign. There's not a great deal of damage that can occur to the car back there, and they really didn't appear to hit all that hard. It looked like the five car of Stuck was right behind, and he took evasive action going around that chicane, as did the Corvette and several other cars, realizing it was blocked. Maybe we can get a better idea of what happened to this number 46. Here he goes back at the chicane area. I'm going to tag something there. Just coming down, just trying to get alongside. Oh, he did. Whitney. Now that was bad. Camel light car that he came off from there. Afraid we, we caught old Whitney making a boo-boo. 